Hey, hi everyone, and welcome to this video. Uh, in today's video, I will be talking about a new project that I have been working on, which is about creating AI agents with this new technology called Model Context Protocol or MCP. Uh, although MCP has been around for a couple of months, but I think it's gotten a lot more traction after the recent workshop that was done by folks at Anthropic. Um, just to give you a quick context on what MCP is, it's basically a new protocol which was developed by um, Anthropic to help in building much more streamlined and flexible interfaces for LLM applications uh, by <clears throat> building building a seamless interface that can help LLM um, in, um, by helping LLM UXs to connect with the data that um, that they can use. Now, essentially. This protocol consists of an MCP client and one or more MCP servers. Now, the entire reasoning part of the logic or the core LLM driven part um, is contained within the client, the orchestration and the LLM, while the access to say tools or resources or prompt templates and a bunch of other things, uh, all of that is abstracted and encapsulated in the MCP server. Now, these tools can be anything. They could be from looking at your uh, local files, doing file manipulations, to searching the web, or even accessing APIs, and maybe uh, even spinning up browsers using Playwright or Selenium, and do a bunch of other things. So the possibilities are endless as far as the tools are concerned. So just think of it as uh, whatever tools you define and assign to an agent when you build them using Langchain or say Autogen, et cetera, all of that information is abstracted out and kept in the MCP server. And whenever there is a requirement, the MCP client goes, uh, sends a request to the server, fetches the tools that are available, and then based on the utterance of the user, whatever the query is and whatever requirements are there from the user, it it's, um, it, 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 uh, the client asks the LLM as to which tools need to be invoked to answer the client's question and then invokes the MCP server to, um, it, it sends a request to the MCP server to basically execute the, the, the intended tools. And then whenever the tools are executed, uh, the appropriate API calls are made or the files are looked at or written into or whatever is the implementation of that particular tool. So cool. I have talked a little bit about what MCP is. I've described it in a fairly more detailed manner and <clears throat> try to um, share why it is. Uh, it makes a lot more sense to develop your applications going forward using uh, Model Context Protocol in this README file itself. And with that, let's jump into the demo. Over here in the demo, I've tried to create an MCP agent using a client and a and a single server. And the server is basically containing tools which are nothing but APIs of a website called a financial website called as Financial Modeling Prep. Now, this is what the Financial Modeling Prep API documentation looks like. It's got a plethora of APIs, out of which I've tried to, um, let's say, consider let's say five or six interesting APIs that I felt was really good to work with. Try to uh, capture that in the server that, so that the client can. Uh, call and interact with it. Cool. So let's get to the demo. I am just about to start the server and the client using this particular command. Uh, it's clearly mentioned that I want to connect to the financial data server. Now, when the connect, uh, when the command runs, firstly, the client tries to connect to the server and tries to fetch the tools that are available on the server to be accessed by the LLM data. So, let me just start off with a simple high question as to what can the agent help me with. So as you see, it's mentioned that it can easily help me with real-time stock codes for specific companies. It can help in retrieving company profiles, balance sheet, cash flow, cash flow statements, and a bunch of others based on all these tools that are available to it. Cool. So under the hood, by default, since I've not mentioned any particular LLM provider in my startup uh, um, in my startup command, it will use GPT 4.0, which I have hosted on my Azure OpenAI endpoint. Uh, however, this particular client does have the option to uh, change providers. You can use simply OpenAI, or you can also use locally hosted LLMs using Olama. 
and the detailed steps for using any of these other providers are mentioned in the readme so if you are curious to check that out and uh, use a different llm or your own azure endpoint or some other thing please feel free to check out the readme with that aside let me just start by asking the now that i know what it can help me with let me just ask it about the stock price of microsoft and as you can see it the LM chose to use the get stock quote API or, or the tool and with the symbol as Microsoft. And you can see the, the, uh, it, the using the data that the MCP server returned by, by calling the API, the LLM constructs the final response mentioning that the current stock price is 38.388.56. Cool, now, now that I've got, now you can see that I can get stuff this was a very sim simple query wherein I asked about stock price of Microsoft. Now let's see if I want to compare the financial ratios of two companies, say Walmart and Amazon. And I also want the LM to suggest me which one of which one of them is a more lucrative option for an investment. So this is a much more realistic scenario of uh, me asking certain investment related questions to this financial agent. And you can see both for both Amazon and Walmart the get financial ratios uh, tool gets executed wherein and, and once the results are obtained and sent to the LLM, it basically comes up with a final report wherein it's talked about the various ratios of Amazon, various ratios of Walmart. This is all coming from the grounded data. And finally, it performs its own analysis. It's given me four points about profitability, liquidity, solvency, efficiency, evaluation all very technical points based on exactly comparing the various ratios of Amazon and Walmart. And finally, it recommends to me that Amazon appears like a much more lucrative investment based on its profitability, et cetera. And yeah, I think it's talked about what an investor's temperament should be. So this is, this is a fairly involved use case. It's a fairly intricate use case and a very useful way of using this particular agent because honestly, doing this entire exercise myself, looking at the financial ratios, a bunch of other things, for companies and trying to make sense of them may not be uh, something which everyone is aware of or can do so such an agent will can, can can really make your life simple now let's go one step further now i'm asking it that hey i wish to invest in a particular sector and now i wish that the llm can help me the agent can help me perform a fundamental analysis of the top company in this sector See, I have not mentioned the exact company. It's for the LLM to figure out what is the top company in this telecom sector and derive insights and share a report with me with some investment strategies. Cool. So I think the LLM has figured out what the top company is. It's getting the company profile the, and, and everything that's required for the fundamental analysis. It's getting the balance sheet, cash flow statements, the metrics and the ratios for the last three, three years or so and trying to create a detailed report and share the investment strategies with me. So let's wait for it to answer. Okay, so with that, I think it's going to be a fairly detailed and a fairly long report, starting with AT&T's uh, overall company profile, what it looks like, what it does. Uh, it's given me an overview of what the balance sheet looks like, what and gives me for each of these sections, whether it's a balance sheet, it's the cash flow, it's given me a small analysis of what it looks like, how it can be, uh, what sense can be made out of this data. It's given me a details of the financial metrics, ratios analysis. It suggests profitability in its core operations. And then it's talked about the recommendations and the strategy. It's talked about what are the strengths. What are the weaknesses? And it's and it's also recommended a good strategy as to how I can use div, the dividend growth strategy and the value investment strategy and why I can use them for if I want to invest in at and And yeah, I think this, this kind of a report, it's a fairly comprehensive report. It's used all the grounding data. It's used its knowledge of how it can process the grounding data and provide me with a fairly intricate um recommendation on how i can invest i wish to invest in this particular um, company i think this is pretty pretty cool as to the possibilities that i am able to explore with this particular agent so i think i did show you a couple of uh, use cases and now i can just hit quit and that will uh, end the session with the this particular agent let's get back to our mcp 
agent read me i'll just just quickly dive into what the project architecture looks like going a little deeper compared to the demo so when i start the uh, when i when i give in the command it basically starts the mcp client and this mcp client the first thing that it does is is to establish connection with the server list the tools and return all the available tools and which are which were displayed in the very uh, initial part now when i submit any query the, the mcp client first sends the query with all the list of available tools to the, the llm based on the provider and if the llm responds with um, uh, with with an answer which does not involve any tool call just like the very first thing that i asked about hey what can you help me with this does not involve any tool calls so since no no tools calls are involved it will skip this particular loop and finally display the response that was returned by the llm however if this llm responds with any tool call messages as to which tools need to be called with what parameters you enter into this loop and the mcp client basically calls the mcp server with this tool and the parameter and the mcp server then um impl uh, the, 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 then runs the implementation of this tool now for all our for our mcp server all the tools are basically api calls so it calls the financial server api with the required parameters and gets the data supplies it back to the client and now the client with this updated tool results calls the llm to figure out whether the to generate a new response now this response if it requires any more further tools to clarify or build upon the response it again continues in this loop until the, the response says that i do not need to call any other tools and i can finally display the response now once i submit the quit keyword uh, the the client basically just uh, makes a makes a request to the server to close the connection and exit the application so that's how this overall project of an ai agent using an mcp client and mcp server is created all the components the details and everything is mentioned over here um, the readme contains detailed steps on what are the prerequisites what all are the steps you need if you wish to set this up for yourself and try it out uh, the i think before concluding i'll just uh, touch upon the ease of creating an mcp server because uh, if you look at this mcp server that i've created it's just hardly around 50 lines of code and i honestly have not written a single line of this code this entire mcp server was created within 15 minutes by leveraging ai based on the tutorial that um, the mcp folks have added in their documentation it's a fairly good tutorial um, however there are there were a couple of things here and there some links were missing etc so i've just modified a few of these steps and i've shared with you but the gist of it is that it was a simple conversation with a tool uh, with an a, uh, with an ai tool called kimi.ai wherein i just asked it to build an mcp server using a python sdk and exposing the financial data api as tools and supplied it with three files the first file is a text format of the mcp's documentation from its github repo second file is the readme file of the mcp python sdk so that it knows how it can build an mcp server and thirdly, I just gave it a text file containing information about the financial data APIs that I wanted. Now, this data is also available in the repo. Uh, as I mentioned, I've tried to, uh, I just copied uh, the six, the, the details of the six APIs that I wanted to use from this uh, financial modeling prep documentation. I just took the name, the description, the endpoint, the parameters, and the kind of response. I did that just copy pasted it for the six endpoints and just put them into kimi.ai and within a few seconds i had the entire code provided to me and the only thing that i had to do was to change the api key based on my account and there i had my mcp server running so it's that simple to build your own mcp servers and create an mcp agent as well so in this project so this this project is a part of um this repo called as the ai garage wherein i try to add as many interesting projects around ai using new technologies using new uh, frameworks etc i try to experiment create projects and just try to share it out with you folks so it's present in this repo and 
please feel free to extend, create more MCP servers uh, if you want to try them out. But yeah, all the steps are mentioned in detail in this particular repo. Um, so yeah, with that, we're almost at the end of this uh, video. So don't, uh, I hope I was able to demonstrate the power of MCP uh, through this demo. And I hope you got to learn a little more in depth about what MCP is, how it can be used and how it, how easy it is to build using MCP. So if you enjoyed this video, do give it a like and do subscribe to my channel. I will keep adding more, more videos about such projects. There are already a couple of projects in this AI garage. There is a diagram generator and um, there's a job description based resume optimizer using AI agents, an origin system design agent. Feel free to check them out. And the MCP agent is the newest edition that I just happened to create over the last weekend. So do give it a try. Uh, do start this repo and do follow me. Thank you so much for watching.